the worst Super Nanny cases. If you haven't watched Super Nanny, you ought to be living in a hole. This binge-worthy series will have you cringing, laughing, and having all sorts of mixed reactions. Today, we will list the craziest kids on Super Nanny. Right before we get into it, why don't you tap the subscribe button and hit the bell notification. We have so many amazing videos. 1. Kids in Adult Chat Rooms Alexi is an 11-year-old who was busted in an adult chat room with older men. This girl was well aware of what she was doing and enjoyed having adult conversations with men. To make it worse, she would make fun of her parents' inability to use the computer. Well, her parents were raised in an era where technology hadn't evolved to what it is today. The girl took advantage of her parents' situation and sneaked in absurd conversations with grown men. She had created a fake account and was using a different name and age. Her parents were shocked to find out all of this when Super Nanny stepped in to save the day. What could have turned out tragic ended up pretty well. The girl apologized to her folks and fixing their relationship? Well, if you're a parent, you'd better watch what your kids are doing on their phones. Would you slap your child? This is usually a gray area where most people are on either side of sparing or using the belt, but for this mom, she's clearly on her own level when it comes to disciplining her children. You won't believe what she did with this soap. Yes, I said soap. 2. Soaped up. Jennifer is 25 years old and Thad, her husband, is 5 years older. Together they have three children to look at but not spend time with. Their kids are complete maniacs. They run the show in the house, are rude to everyone, want things to always go their way, are always fighting, they destroy things, and sometimes when things go really south, they show their mother the middle finger. That's not even half the story. Jennifer has taken up a unique way of punishing her kids. One time, her son spit at her and she poured soap in his mouth. Well, we can't really say her actions are justified, but when her six-year-old shouts, keep quiet, big mouth, you may probably end up doing the same. At least Super Nanny stepped in at the right time and transformed to the whole family. It can be quite draining to have a couple of crazy toddlers. I can't even imagine how hectic it can be raising not one, not two, but six of them. Three, six crazy kids. Lisa and Steve have kids from hell. Their six children were completely out of control. The eldest girl, Haley, was the most difficult. She is rude, threatens everyone else with knives, and is violent. Alexis is another character who acts as if she was picked from a jungle. This eight-year-old climbs fences, is completely rude, attacks her siblings, abuses her mother, and has no respect for anyone whatsoever. The rest of the kids are no better. Their house is always a war zone with things and words flying all the time. When Super Nanny arrived, she wasn't sure she would be able to help them, but in no time the delinquent kids miraculously changed. We've seen a couple out of control kids, but none come anywhere close to this pack of four. Wait for it, you won't believe what these kids are capable of. 4. Pack of Four Little Devils Brian McAfee never thought he would ever be a single dad. He recently divorced from his wife and had taken full custody of four kids under the age of 10. The youngest of them is only three years old. A pack of three girls and one boy doesn't sound so bad, right? Well, wait until you see what these kids do every other day. None of the kids respect their dad. In fact, they treat him like he's their big brother. The youngest throws tantrums all the time. The kids are always throwing things at each other, fighting or cursing and shouting all the time 24 7. He is always replacing things in the house after they break them and there is no order at all in this household. In my opinion, he is one hell of a patient human being. Most people would have given out their kids for adoption. A round of applause for dad of the year, as usual Super Nanny worked her magic and this family was restored to normalcy. We all hate bullies, don't we? But what do you do when your own child is the bully? 5. The King Bully when you think of a bully, you picture a huge figure probably taller than everyone else who likes to torture other people, but not in this case. The king bullies in this case are toddlers who can't take no for an answer. Tammy and her husband met and got married within three months. It was love at first sight, and in less than a decade, they had three kids. They love their kids, but sometimes they just want them to go away. They were just about to give up when they called Super Nanny to come to the rescue. Almost immediately after Super Nanny arrived at their home, the boys started fighting. Not the usual sibling fights, but serious blows were being shared and one of them got stepped on. The two older brothers were always bullying the youngest one and they admitted to always stepping on him. Soon enough, the three-year-old goes missing and is found outside with a sharp pair of scissors. The kids don't respect their mom and bully her to get anything they want. If their sandwiches aren't properly made, they will force her to make them another. They treat their mother like their servant. They hit her, abuse her, and do so many disrespectful things to her. But with a healthy dose of discipline, Super Nanny was able to tame little monsters. 
Twins are always a blessing, but in this case, the parents feel as though their kids are a curse. Here is the shocking story of two twins gone berserk. 6. Double Trouble the Wishmeyers were having the worst family crisis before Super Nanny showed up. The lovely couple has three kids, two twins, and an older boy. The mom decided to stop going to work and work from home to give her kids more attention. Well, this didn't go so well. They would order their mom around, create messes in the house all the time, shout and destroy things, and disobey everyone, making it impossible for mom to work. To make it worse, one of the twins has a horrible habit of slapping the mom. I don't know about you, but if I dared to do that, it wouldn't matter if I was five, I would be homeless for the night. If someone is not throwing insults in this house, someone is either getting hit or something is getting broken. But Super Nanny was able to come in and pinpoint the issues. Within a couple of days, she came up with the solutions that changed the norm in the household. I have never seen a family in such distress as the Gorbea family. One of the kids is driving the entire family crazy. Will Super Nanny save them? Find out next. 7. The Gorbea Family Robert and Evelina have three kids, Demetrius, who's nine, Maya, who's eight, and the youngest, Adam, who is almost three. The youngest child has the habit of clinging to their mom's legs from the moment he wakes up to the moment he sleeps. He also gets really jealous when anyone else gets close to her. The other siblings call him the mom hog. He doesn't listen to anyone and screams all day long and never goes to sleep on time. The craziest part is that he won't allow anyone to watch their shows on television. He will cling onto the television and whine until someone changes the channel to his shows. The other kids feel left out as they don't get to spend any time with their mom. Everyone had had enough of Adam, and he was single-handedly ruining the lives of the people around him. In only 14 days, Super Nanny made the impossible possible. Adam now slept in his own bed on time, stopped clinging on to his mom so much, and gave the other kids time with their mother. What a miracle. We have seen a lot of crazy kids, but wait until you watch these next ones. 8. Two Crazy Sets of Twins Joanne and Michael have five children together. Michael is a work-from-home dad, and Mom is a full-time teacher. The oldest son is Zachary, with whom Michael has joint custody of with his ex, and the other four kids are two sets of twins. With two sets of twins, these parents definitely have their hands full. The kids are always all over the place, screaming, breaking things, and causing chaos, typical toddler behavior. The only difference is that this happens with four kids at the same time. Beats me how their dad is able to take care of all these kids and still run his business. Even Super Nanny was shocked at how he was able to do all of that. It literally looks as though the parents are running a zoo in their home. As usual, Super Nanny created a schedule for them and restored the sanity to the home. You will not believe the next story we have. This family was just at the brink of fully giving up. 9. Riri Family Jennifer and Scott met a blind date and fell madly in love with each other. Today, they have three kids. Scott goes to work for the whole day while Jennifer stays at home. They don't seem to have any issues with all of the kids, just one of them, who literally does everything wrong. Blake, the troubled child who doesn't listen to his parents, runs out the front door every day, throws a tantrum every now and then, and will demand for things like it's his right. Blake runs everywhere, even while crossing roads, and doesn't even check for safety. Every time they go with him to the store, he always has to go missing. On several occasions, Blake was almost hit by a car. When they go to the mall, their mom is always frantically running from corner to corner trying to get Blake. I can't even imagine the panic attacks the parents must get when their crazy child is out there. To make it worse, both parents have different parenting methods. Scott will be okay with the kids having snacks before dinner and running out in the streets alone. When Jennifer tells the kids one thing, Scott tells them another. After seeing all this madness, even Super Nanny wasn't certain she would be able to help. But with time, she sure did save the day. More kids and parents are going crazy on TV. Here's the craziest pack of kids to ever grace the Super Nanny show. You won't believe it. 10. The Christensen's Gone Crazy after watching these kids, I think there must be something in the food they eat. This isn't normal in any way. From toddlers screaming, I hate you, mom and dad, to them literally beating their parents up, the Christensen family has seen it all. Immediately, Super Nanny saw their submission video, and she knew this family needed help ASAP. On arrival, the kids were on their best behavior, but only after a few minutes, all hell broke loose. There was candy all over the floor. The kids started yelling at dad and pushing and pinching mom. It was a whole day of chaos. At some point, the youngest three-year-old locked mom and the nanny outside. He had to be bribed for a whole 30 minutes before he opened the door for them. It's unbelievable that despite all this drama, Super Nanny was able to get a solution for the Christensen family. 
This woman deserves a round of applause. Thanks for watching and have an excellent day.